Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus. Our subject today, what Paul said about prayer. What Paul said about prayer. Father, we come in Jesus' mighty name today, knowing the victory is ours, knowing the victory has already been won 2,000 years ago. And as we proclaim thy word given through Paul, we know, Father, that in Jesus' name, we can proclaim thy victory. We give you praise and all the glory. Our introduction <coughs> comes from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. What does that mean? And everything you give thanks, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That praying without ceasing is the continuous walk, walking from place to place as him on this earth. Hallelujah. Verse 17 here. Pray without ceasing. The continuous prayer life. The never giving up, praising and giving God thanks in everything. We have the assurance of the Spirit above the thoughts of the mind. This is our introduction today. Our point one, Paul gives us instruction to pray for heads of government. I exhort, therefore, from 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 2, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Not putting ourselves, as we have discussed previously, first in prayer, we see this as a priority. I exhort thee, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, giving a prayer in thanks for all men. This is true intercession. This is where the Spirit is. We being one in spirit, being to be in this place. So point two. Praying with hands outstretched to heaven. 1 Timothy 2.8 I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubting. Then for Mark 11.23 Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, <clears throat> but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. This is New Testament authority. This is the place we walk. This is the place in Christ Jesus we all need to be. And then finally, sanctifying prayer. 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 5. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, commanding to abstain from meats, which God have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving, sanctified by the word of God in prayer. So we have here, in what Paul said about prayer, we have an introduction about rejoicing, praying, oh hallelujah, without ceasing, continuously walking the walk, praying for heads of government, in which there is a question, question one, praying and interceding for nations, part of the Christian life. Discuss some scripture. Oh, yes, it is. Lindsay, my wife, even at one point having a British cabinet minister 
contact her for prayer. Praying with hands. Oh, there is an action in prayer. There's a glory in prayer. Lifting up holy hands. Knowing our authority to demand as we dealt with in the previous part. And then sanctifying. <coughs> the sanctifying prayer. Our question too being about New Testament prayer. Not repetition prayer. Question three, the context, sanctification, separation, moving in power. So what did Paul say about prayer? He said the following, oh, praise the Lord. He saying that all this comes with constant rejoicing, the glory of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the continuance of giving thanks unto the Lord, praying for our government, our nation, our heads of government. Oh, we praise you and give you glory is our part one, part two. I mean, point two of part 15. Let's get it right. Praying with hands outstretched to heaven. And then point three, sanctifying prayer. Can you remember them? Heads of government, one. Hands outstretched, two sanctifying prayer three we thank you for joining us for this wonderful part 15 a short part but so important let's rejoice let's pray without seeing let's give god the glory god bless you bye bye